Welcome to the Purpose Chasers Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Crandall. In 2015, I dreaded most of my day-to-day life. I was working unfulfilling jobs, wasting time playing video games, binging on TV, just to get my mind off the fact that I had a calling to do more and to be more. For years, I wanted to write a book, to become a paid speaker, and to empower others to achieve their dreams. In 2016, I took a stand. I invite you now to do the same. As Purpose Chasers, we refuse to settle for average. We chase our dreams, we accomplish our goals, and we support, encourage, and challenge our community to create the lives we want to live. Why have we Purpose Chasers taken this stand? Because life is too short to not live fulfilled. Enjoy this episode and take action. Purpose Chasers, very, very, very full of gratitude as I'm about to do this recording. So this recording, I just wanted to provide you with an update. I feel like I haven't addressed it, really talked about my experience, what I've been going through, what life has been like for me, and um, the path that I'm being led through this. And yes, I'm about to talk about COVID-19 and all the things uh, associated with COVID-19. So when COVID-19 first came onto the scene, if you will, in the media, uh, I went through a few different phases. I mean, phase one was like freak out. And um, so I started to consume more and more media. And I was on Facebook and I was news articles and I was watching CNN and doing all the things that everyone was doing. And then that was week one. Week two was my wife and I freaking out about acquiring all the things that we need. If we did get locked down for eternity, we would clearly need thousands of rolls of toilet paper. And there was a mass shortage of toilet paper. So we needed to stock up and da 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 da. So we stocked up on all that stuff. That was week two. We ended up with more stuff than any couple households need. Then week three, I started to catch my thoughts and identify discontentment. And I began to see all the opportunities this situation was presenting. Although, you know, the negativity that I was focusing on was being returned by more negativity. So I've identified this a few different times on this journey with things that have happened in the world or happened in my life. And this is the this is really like the first sign or the first cue for me to go internal and start doing some introspective work. And so week three, as I was identifying this discontentment and I began to see all the opportunities that the situation was presenting, I went internal. I increased my meditation practice. I started journaling daily. I started reading hard covered books again. Um, I increased walks with my family. I began to implement multiple uh, walks into my workday. I put my phone down. I stepped off Facebook. I stepped out of a few business ventures. I really started to eliminate the pressure and noise. And over the last two months, my mantra has been remove pressure and noise. And that means that I had to limit my media consumption. I took a, um, a couple week break off Facebook. I still am not going on Facebook that much. I have Messenger you know, downloaded on my computer so I can stay in contact with certain people. But I, uh, I really needed to eliminate the noise because there has been a lot of, of opportunity presented as a result of COVID-19. And I was not able to see it because I was so focused on the negative. And so when I started to really, really put some energy into removing the pressure and noise, I was able to limit the stuff around me, the negativity around me and feeding all of the negativity and being consumed with it and you know, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and seeing nothing but negative. Uh, negative posts and articles and just people's opinions running wild. And when I was able to remove that, I really dove into my spiritual practices. And now we're about to go into the fourth month and we're set to go green this Friday. So the green phase reopening. I'm not sure what the future holds, but what I do know is I'm more connected now than I ever have been. And I have more opportunities present in my personal life, in my family, and in my business than ever before. 
And as a result of cutting out and removing the pressure and the noise, my calendar is clearer than it has been in a long, long time. So in the beginning of COVID-19, uh, the second cohort of the Purpose Chasers Academy went through and they taught me a lot of things. And some of what they taught me is what the Purpose Chasers community truly wanted to hear from me. And so through a lot of introspection work, a lot of quiet time in my office, a lot of soft music, a lot of you know markers on the whiteboard, I have really, really identified what it is that I believe that I was called to do and what uh, the next phase of my development and of the Purpose Chasers movement is going to be. So I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger like that, but if you want to hear more about the direction that I've been called to go, then just stay tuned for next week's episode. And that is when I'm going to share all the things and talk more about the insights and awakenings that I've had as a result of really going in and being present during COVID-19. And really, I've really explored. I started writing some poetry. I started drawing again. Uh, I really got back in touch with my creativity, and I'm in more flow state than I've been, I think, in the entire time that I've been in business. So if you want to hear more about what I am uncovering and unveiling come this the end of summer, I think fall is going to be the perfect time. I'm saying I think fall, I already have a date set. Uh, Then I will talk to you next Friday. But what I want to ask you before I leave is what opportunities are you not seeing due to the pressure and noise? And what actions can you take or begin to take to start removing some of the pressure and noise? Pressure is nothing more than these expectations that I or others have set on me, which causes pressure which are a direct result of the noise around me. So I know right now that I am where I am supposed to be in life. I am where I'm supposed to be in business and I'm where I'm supposed to be with my family and my relationship to my community. So with that being said, I want to ask you, where can you remove the pressure and noise? Purpose Chasers, I love you deeply. I'm so full of gratitude that you listen to this podcast, that you are a part of the community. And I really, really look forward to sharing with you what the next steps are for the Purpose Chasers community, you and for me. I'll talk to you soon. I want to thank you for being a part of the Purpose Chasers community and invite you to seek the support that allowed me to take my stand towards creating the life of my dreams. Join our exclusive members-only Facebook group at The Purpose Chasers. Also, follow us on all social media platforms at The Purpose Chasers. Until we connect again, remember to live your life like it's the only one you have because your dreams should never be on hold.